Hi everyone, it's me Darlene, feeling like shit. I have a congestion thing going on, like I had maybe a month ago, a little more than that. And um, yeah, I think it's getting better, but it's been bothering me for a couple of days. I don't know if it's allergies or whatever, maybe it's the heat. I'm allergic to the heat. It's 94 degrees right now, it's fucking hot. And I just did my groceries. Did you see? Did you see what I got? I uh, used up the last of my butter today for what I'm going to call my butter tea. I still want to say coffee because I've always had coffee, but I no longer drink coffee. Probably for a month now. I don't know. Maybe a little more. Um, so it's uh, hot water and, and butter. I melt the butter with a little bit of milk and then I fill the cup with water. And I put a, a piece about that tall of the stick and I'm going to show you a stick of butter because I've learned that in the UK they don't know what a stick of butter is and so I keep meaning to show what a stick of butter is and I will show them so they'll know how much this is. <laughs> Here in the US you know, you know it's this. Um, it's probably like a third of a stick and uh, I've started to do that later in the day or early evening too um, except for when I'm out uh, but like during the week because um, sometimes I just forget to keep eating my butter and I want to get at least a stick of butter in me so that's an easy way to do it uh, just you know to have some melted butter with water and I put a pinch of cinnamon pinch of salt so it's uh it's good uh, <clears throat> but I ran out so I bought two weeks worth which is four pounds and let me open up a package here and I'll show you what a stick of butter looks like. Oh yeah, and I stocked up on the London broil. I haven't had London broil in a while. And I'll give one to Derek, a nice big one to Derek, because he loves steak too. One or two, I'll give him. And, and then I bought some ground beef, the loose kind. I have been buying just the frozen patties for months and months. I don't know the last time I bought a package of just ground beef. But suddenly, I'm in the mood to cook that whole three pounds with tons of butter and um, maybe freezing some of that cooked. But then I'll take one of my bowls with the cover and put that, if you put a lot of butter, and then I'll let butter melt on top. What happens is it's like, it's like butter bark or ground beef bark. I've done it before and it's delicious. And of course, I keep all the juice and the fat from the ground beef. So I'll melt more butter until there's like a lot of butter. I mean, I could even cover the ground beef if I wanted. And then when that's in the refrigerator, it gets hard and then you just break that into chunks. I eat that cold. It's so good, so incredibly good. And I could have broken up a bunch of patties. The patties are cheaper, but I didn't feel like doing that. I just wanted to do this. And okay, so that's what I got for meat. <clears throat> and this is what a pound of butter looks like. It comes in a little box. Do you guys remember when I used to do, because I'm just thinking of this because I just did a, a thing about how to earn money on YouTube. Um, do you remember way back? I think I did it for two years. I used to do, a, I think I did like an earnings update twice per month. I, I really do. I think I did it like mid-month and then for the whole month after that month. And I used to tell you guys everything, all the analytics, and uh, a lot of people hated that. I used to say how much I earned and uh, how many subscribers, and people used to hate on me because they said nobody needs to know how much money you make. And I wasn't making jack shit back then. I think in those two years, it was way at the beginning. I don't think I ever reached a thousand a month back then. It might have been like maybe 800 or something. I don't know. I don't think I ever went over a thousand in that two year series. But then I had certain people that that's the only videos of mine they would watch. They were there just for when I did those updates. And one of the updates were my top 10 countries. And that was kind of interesting. The top three were always US, UK, Canada, except sometimes UK and Canada would swap places. Uh, obviously, US was always first, and that was interesting. I, I just, I had stopped doing that at some point. I don't know why, just probably got tired of it. Okay, so um, I just thought of that because 
it's the UK people who don't know what sticks of butter are. I'm sure other countries don't know either, but I'm, I'm not familiar with how butter is sold in other countries. So you open it up and you have four sticks of butter that looks like this. You take one out and this is a stick of butter. Oh, this is a pound. So each stick is a quarter of a pound. Each stick is eight tablespoons and they even mark that for you in case you're cooking and you wanna just cut, you know, three tablespoons of butter. So I cut a piece about this tall. So yeah, about three tablespoons. So one stick isn't even enough for three butter teas for me. Um, you know, when I get that little end piece, I just, you know, add from another stick. Um, and this is what I eat every day, at least this, uh, sometimes a stick and a half. At the beginning, I was pounding down two sticks of butter per day, and I just seem to forget to do that now. Uh, I would still do it, I, I just seem to forget. It's not because I, I'm disgusted by it. And uh, here's how I do it. I take a, a stick of butter and I completely unwrap it. I leave it on the wrapper on a plate so it's unwrapped in my refrigerator. I have a knife there and every time I go into my kitchen, every time I get up, I go past my refrigerator, I take out that plate and I cut probably a half a tablespoon. So, you know, a half a tablespoon to a tablespoon and I just put that in my mouth and I chew it a couple times and I swallow that. People seem to be like amazed that anyone would do that or they are like highly grossed out by the fact that anyone would do that. It's not all that gross and, I, and it doesn't bother me because it's what's healing me in so many ways and uh, I'm gonna do this always. I can't imagine ever stopping. There's nothing I love more than not having to think about what to buy. My only decision today was uh, did I want ground beef or not? Could I just chop up a bunch of hamburger patties or not? And I took the easy way and I bought the ground beef <laughs> and my delicious London broil. Um, what I do with the London broil is I will cut them in half, freeze them separately because I can cook a half a steak and slice all that up and, and cook that and then uh, I, I add uh, hamburger patties and stuff and like I still have a rotisserie chicken in my refrigerator so <clears throat> I like a variety sometimes so I don't need to eat a whole steak but if I were to you know have lunch I would eat a whole steak because I try to eat at least a pound a pound and a half of beef uh, a day if not still two but usually a pound pound and a half except for the days that I absolutely do not need any beef and I just did three days in a row that all I ate was butter they call that a butter fast I don't do it on purpose I do it because I just don't have time to cook. I just don't think about beef. I'm absolutely not hungry, like no appetite. Even hard to eat the butter because I have no appetite. And it usually happens when I'm really busy. I went out Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. I'm going out tonight. Let's use that. I like that better than the thumb. Um, to Derek's uh, watch party. So, you know, I'm just busy doing stuff. So. Uh, I didn't eat anything Friday but butter. Saturday, nothing but butter. Uh, try really hard to get one and a half to two sticks in on those days because I need the calories because I know I'm dancing at night and I need I need my energy. And then Sunday I went out, uh, but I did eat a little beef. Um, I don't know, at midnight I had some beef cooked. I actually cooked it Sunday because I said, you know, I'm probably going to be hungry when I get home tonight, but I wasn't hungry before, so I didn't eat any of the beef, but I cooked some beef and I had it ready in the fridge and I ate some. And uh, and I, I ate just a very little and it was like I was full. So I said, okay, that's enough. But uh, and I'm sure I'll eat something today. I don't know, I don't know if I will. <laughs> okay, the watch party. This is May 8, 2023. And we're gonna be at uh, Sidecar in Memphis at 7 p.m. for the Rhythm Section podcast. Watch party and meet and greet. You meet me, you meet Derek meet Jeff, meet a bunch of other people, and uh, if you can make it there, please join us, and if you uh, don't know us from being out at the bars or watching bands, absolutely come up to at least me, you know me, and say, hey, 
we're here from such and such a place and uh, we love you on YouTube. You don't have to say that. <laughs> but if you do, say it really loud so everybody hears that. And let us know that you watch my videos, Derek's videos, the podcast, whatever. Okay? One of these days, I'm going to get somebody. I'm going to get somebody to come in and surprise us. I would love that. I am getting more of a local following, so that's really cool. And is there anything else I wanted to tell you? Um, yeah, I wasn't thrilled with... We went uh, yesterday, went, went with my friend Mary that I met a couple weeks ago, and we went to Hadley's um, to hear Play Some Skinnered. That's the name of the band, Play Some Skinnered. And I, you know, I like Leonard Skinner. Skinner, I can't fucking talk. I like Leonard Skinner enough. And I saw them play like almost a whole set one time at Lafayette's when I was waiting for the 10 o'clock band to come on. I went early and saw them. And the last set was pretty good. Um, but, you know, we only got to watch two sets. They started an hour late because they blew an amp or something. And it took an hour for them to, you know, go get a part. Whatever they did, it took an hour. And the first two sets, uh, Mary and I, she likes to dance, and so now we hang out, or at least we did, and I hope we do again, uh, to dance. And But we both agreed it wasn't a good dance band. It's not like Thump Daddy. <laughs> it's a fucking dance band. Or even... Um, and Thump Daddy will play like medleys and it'll last like 20 minutes and there's just 20 minutes of dancing like all Bruno Mars or you know stuff like that it's so cool I'm, I'm moving up because those people are moving out <laughs> I don't have to bet Jesus Christ what the fuck was that okay it was a bump a bump in the road um, uh, I'm not apologizing for swearing okay get a lot of shit you know uh, okay so first let me say yeah so we weren't thrilled and we left at 8 30 she had to work we didn't stay till 9 30 I don't know if they were gonna stay till 10 30 since they missed a set I don't know but we left and you know it was nice to go out and it was nice to take a ride and I got to know Mary a lot more because we were able to talk she came to my place so I wouldn't have to go out of the way she came to my place and then I drove us to Memphis and um, yeah so I got to actually talk to someone and and uh, get to know her better because it's hard to talk in a bar. So it, I'm glad I went out. It was it was nice to go out and to uh, you know be with her, get to know her. It just wasn't a good dancing night for us, but we did dance. We did dance. So that you know it was nice. It was just a nice night. It doesn't always have to be fantastic. Just like you don't always have to have a party in your mouth because people say, oh I could never do that. And, you know, just eat, eat, eat a piece of fucking butter. <laughs> eat a whole stick of butter. <laughs> And don't worry about it. Uh, it's funny to me how people have such, um, you know, they just can't fathom eating something. I guess I grew up just eating or tasting anything. In my family, it's just like whatever my father killed, my mother cooked it and we ate it. You know, it's just, I don't know. So, I, I mean, I've eaten things that people I'm sure would think dis are disgusting, like, you know, the liver of every kind of animal he ever brought home. Now, probably not the liver, but things like heart, tongue. I used to eat beef tongue all the time. Um, you know, just, just things. So I'm not afraid to try things, and I'm not afraid to um, eat without fully enjoying something. You know, yeah, eating a stick of butter a day, you know, I just, I don't think about it. It's like I just put it in my mouth and, you know, it just takes a couple bites and, and then I swallow it. And I say, okay, that was my spoonful of medicine for this hour. And then I keep going. Um, okay, and uh, remember, I'll have a weight update every time I lose 10 pounds. And uh, I'm not there yet, so I don't care. I don't care if it takes me three months to lose 10 pounds. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. But it's only been, I think, a month since my 100-pound announcement. I Okay, I, I, geez, I was going to tell you something, and now I can't remember. Of course, of course I can't. Um... Oh, what was it? What was I talking about? Let me think. I actually don't know, and I don't like to rewatch a video on my camera because I'm not always sure how to do that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go home and edit, and if it was at all important, I'll just tell you from my office. I'll jump in and tell you, but I don't think anything could be that important. Uh, so I'm just glad I have butter, and i got to go home and eat, eat some butter. <laughs> and... Um, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. So, so leaned into you. I need you. I need you in my life.